Hello, yes, that's right, Catherine Blakelock. I'd never heard of this woman before until the formation of the Brexit Party. Um, and she was embroiled in a social media controversy right after it being formed regarding leaving silly comments on social media about blacks, crime, violence and babies. So I just gave her the benefit of the doubt. And also, I didn't know she was the leader and treasurer of the Brexit party. I thought Nigel Farage was. I thought it was your party, Nigel Farage. Bad move, that. Maybe they've headed you off. Maybe they've anticipated um, a party being formed. I don't know. I don't know. But what did Lenin say? The best way to smash the opposition is the leader yourself. But anyway... Catherine Blakelock involved in a controversy right after the Brexit party was formed uh, regarding even uh, comments on social media. I don't know if it was before or after the party was formed. But anyway, someone screenshotted them because she deleted them uh, about blacks, violence, crime, babies and whatever. So it gave her the benefit of the doubt, but there's been another controversy now. Uh, she owns a business, Annapurna, is it? Is that a mountain in the Himalayan range? I'm sure it is. But anyway... Um, She's got a bed and breakfast where also the Brexit party HQ is. So people visiting the bed and breakfast have been leaving one star, been leaving derogatory comments on the on trip on the trip advisor. Uh, so she's um, going to move the uh, the Brexit party HQ now from where the business is situated. So it's another controversy. Now people will say, "Oh, did Joe? She's the one being attacked." But it doesn't matter. The public still see controversy. It may boost up Air Street cred amongst the faithful, which is probably meant to do. But in the eyes of the public, it's more controversy. And they don't like it. Now, I'll give this woman the benefit of the doubt. But I always remember reading this book on um, counter-surveillance. It was by a former uh, detective, a former copper. And this is what he said regarding surveillance. I can't remember what the book was called now. I got it out of uh, I Spy... Surveillance magazine. It's quite good that you want to read it. Um, anyway, he said, if you see someone on the high street, it's an accident. If you see them a second time within minutes, it's a coincidence. But then if you see them a third time, they're following you. Well, I base this rule on disruption in the uh, nationalist movement. First, it's an accident. Coincidence. Third time, it's not. It's obviously been... It's deliberate, and this is what you've got to do. The, the detective that wrote that book on counter surveillance, um, was quite, he's right, he's spot on, right? Well, he should know. That they're in that field, they too know. So, Catherine Blakelock, now there's a second controversy. Now, minor as it is, the public reading it, it still puts them off, people ridiculing the, uh, the Brexit party, leaving one star and... Silly comments, I can't wait to vote leave, breakfast or breakfast and things like that. I've left a link below. So ridicule's a bad, uh, it's a bad attack ridicule. What did he say? Saul Alinsky in Rules for Radicals. Man's most potent weapon is ridicule and it's right. That's why I say it's like, and hope not hate, use it all the time. Right, that's why they do it because it, it sticks and it, uh, it's bad. Right, so anyway, she's been involved now in two controversies, right, Regardless who's responsible, she's involved. She's at the heart of it all now. It may just be an accident, a coincidence, Mr. Farage. I don't know. I thought you were the leader. Bad move, that. And is Stephen Wolf going to join? He's another one working for the security service. And also, Catherine Blakelock. Doesn't she have a Jamaican husband? Well, that's a cover. That's brilliant cover. Like with Stephen Wolf, his colour is his cover, right? Very clever this, but I've seen right through it. Now, you don't have to believe Joe Owens. You can uh, say I'm paranoid and delusional. I've got it all wrong. It's an accident and coincidence. Be my guest. If you want to believe, Mr. Farage, all that's happened to you, Kip, since you left is an accident and a coincidence. Then be my guest. But given you're not in control of the Brexit party, I don't give it much uh, chance to tell you the truth. I think it's doomed. The spies will get in there and the sabotage will start. No matter whether or not there's a million people joined in the first week. That's what they do as well, the security services. They build it up. 
like they did the once mighty National Front and the once successful BMP. They take it to Everest, right at the top, and then drop it down to base camp. And they'll do the same with the Brexit party. But don't say you ain't warned because, you know, you've been getting warned for the last two years and you seem to take the notice. <laughs> okay, thank you.